Hi, and welcome to part two of my Nutanix cluster setup. In this part two, we'll be creating the first virtual machine. The first virtual machine in my environment will be a Windows Server 2016, which will later on hold my domain controller role. So, as you see here, oh, I have already logged into the Nutanix cluster. And the first thing you want to do is hit the small arrow besides home and choose VM. On the VM in the top right, you have the options of creating a VM. So click on that one. Give the VM a name. I'll call mine PC01. Give it a description of the domain controller. I'll have one virtual CPU and two cores per CPU. I'll give it four gigabytes of memory. Then you go down and add a hard drive. Just leave the standards in and put in 60 gigs in my case. Hit add. Then you want to browse up. Edit the first CD drive and choose clone from image service. If you hit that one, you can choose the Windows Server 2016 and then click on update. This will mount the Server 2016 image disk. Then you want to add another CD run drive where you have the Nutanix drivers. So you can load the hard drive in drivers under the installation. Again, choose clone from image service and choose the Nutanix ISO. The last thing you want to do is add a network card. I'll put this on the Citrix Lab desk LAN subnet and give it an IP address of 192.168.20.10. And then hit add. Then just hit save. And the VM will be creating in the background now. So if you go up on the top left, you can see there's overview and table. And you hit table to get a view of your virtual machines. You can see the newly created VM is there. Then hit power on to turn it on. This will power on the, the virtual machine in the background. And in the moment, the screen will refresh and I can launch the console for it. There we go. Now I can hit launch console. And you can see the server is already booting on the image. In my case, I'll leave language to install for English, but the time currency and keyboard will be Danish. Hit install now. If you see this one, where we have the error reporting in, this is usually because the ISO hasn't been fully uploaded yet, so it actually isn't ready to mount at all. So in my case, I'll just go back and wait a bit. I choose English as its language, and then English as its currency and keyboard, and hit next. Again, install now. And this time you'll see that it actually boots into the right place. I can choose standard uh, server with this type of experience, so I have console. Then hit them. And at this point, I want to load the driver for my storage. So I hit load driver, I click on browse, go to my virtual Win store, and choose 2016 under VU SCSI. This will load the Red Hat drivers, and I can hit next. This should load the drivers from my hard drive, and then I can choose that one to install from in just a minute. Here we go. So I have my 60 gig drive. Just hit install. Now the installation itself will take quite a while. I think it's about seven or eight minutes on my machine. So 
after the auto run is run and the drive is installed, the last boot will be setting it up and asking for a new administrative password. So here I put in my administrative password two times, so the zero is the right one, and then hit finish. Then I'll just hit control and delete to log in, put my new password. And that takes me to the last thing I want to do with this VM before it's ready to be promoted as a domain controller. And the last thing we want to do is load the two final drivers, which is missing at the moment. So I go right click on the start menu, go to the device manager. I hit right click and update driver for the network path, click on browse my computer. It will point to the E drive, which is my C with the drives on. And it will also discover the driver. Hit on install. And that loads the virtual driver. I always hit no to discover your network. And I'll do the same thing for the PCI drive. So the Badoon driver is installed. That makes the drivers installation complete. The last thing I want to do is actually install the agent for Nutanix as well. So I'll browse the E drive. Go to the guest agent and double click on the x64 version. This will install the guest agent for Nutanix. I'll complete this video when it's done. And there we go. So all drivers and guest agent have now been installed. And if you just want to go and check the IP address, see that it has worked with the IFM solution with Nutanix. Go to the status for the network, hit details. You see it have the IP address of 192.168.20.10 as we assigned it in management console. So that concludes the video for this time. Hope you enjoyed it.